Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning to all. I hope that uh, we are ready for our class for today. So, um, before we start our class, uh, please uh, recite prayer first. Tangan tangan, kita berdoa. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allahumma ta'ala alayna hikmataka wa insur alayna min khala in rahmatika ya rahmat rahimin. Rabbi zidani ilman wa ruzukani fahman. Rabbi syurahli qadari wa yassirli amri wa ahlul alata min yassari ya khawruhi. Rabbana adina fi dunia hasanah wa fi alfati hasanah wa fi azabana rusna azabana rusna azabana. Subhana Rabbi Tarawi anzati amma jikipur wa salamun alayhi wa salamun alayhi wa alhamdulillah ya Rabbi alamin. Amin amin ya Rabbi alamin. So, how are you today? Good? Okay. So, um, let's continue with our online class rules and regulations. So, basically, this is a voice recording, a video recording. So, I hope that you are listening well to my instructions and watching until the end of this video to gain more understanding towards our task for today. Okay. Okay, these are three simple steps to prevent COVID-19. As usual, make sure you have uh, a good hand hygiene. Okay, make sure you wash your hands with soap or you wear a hand sanitizer. And then wear a face mask to cover your mask, okay? But when we get the face shield, right? So you can use that one too. But mask uh, is a compulsory to wear a face mask. Okay, before you put on uh, the uh, face shield. Okay, lastly, please, 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 please maintain your physical distance. Okay, kita dah dapat baru-baru ni, uh, apa namanya? Um, kita boleh pergi ke shopping mall, kita boleh pergi um, naik kereta, boleh lebih daripada seorang, eh, boleh lebih daripada dua orang, boleh memuatkan kapasiti penuh dalam kereta, uh, kita boleh uh, makan dalam uh, kedai, okay, kat restoran, and eat. Fine dining in the restaurant uh, with full capacity, uh, major too. Uh, but please, please, please maintain your physical distance. Okay, make sure three simple steps need to be taken to prevent COVID nineteen from spreading more and more and more uh, and harming ourselves. Okay, so uh, this is a recap uh, session for previous lesson. So basically, kalau kita tengok ah, kita sini, yang belah kiri ni, okay, the left side over here, this part, okay. Uh, all six sentences, oh sorry, all six questions uh, are correct. Okay, rocky, sad, high, heavy, and sharp, huge, or is it huge, rock, and never come back. So, the first one I'm told, this one is good. Okay, the other one over here in the Kanani, this one, uh, okay, now I can see that number one and number four, I confuse us too. Okay. Number one, what is wrong with number one? The two tall mountains were heavy and sharp and dangerous. Okay, apa yang salah? Okay, kalau macam ni, kita just, uh, kita tak, uh, kita tengok saja pun kita tak tahu jawapan dia, okay? Okay, and kat sini, and another one is and here. So, kita tak boleh nak repeat. There will be no repetition by using and. Okay, and, and ni apa? Maksud dia, dan. Kalau macam ni, were heavy and sharp and dangerous, kita tak boleh Dua kali N kat situ. Dia sekali N saja. So, kalau nak buat uh, letak macam ni, heavy and sharp and dangerous, dia akan jadi heavy, coma, sharp and dangerous. Kita tak boleh letak N double macam ni. Double kali macam ni. So, this is wrong. So, yang yeah, confused kat mana? Number four. Heavy and sharp ni should be uh, kat sini lah. Number four. Rocky. This one should be here. Okay. The two tall mountains were rocky and dangerous. Okay. So, ada uh, confusion kat sini. Okay. I think that's it for the recap session. Uh, overall, all of you can manage to do well, for all correct for six uh, questions. Okay, well done. Congratulations to all of you. Okay, uh, let, next let's move on to the uh, next uh, topic. Okay, so our objective for today is to listen and state true or false four out of five statements correctly. So, nanti akan ada listening uh, audio. So, you need to listen to the audio. And then, you need to state whether the statement is true or false. Here, there will be five uh, statements and you must uh, 
identify the, all of it. Okay. So uh, we will look into what is Oggy Pullman. Okay. What is it about? And I will uh, play a video for you to understand and to make sense what is Oggy Pullman is about. And then after that, I will uh, move on to the blurb. So you need, I will play it and then you will listen to it. And after that, uh, you listen and identify five words from the blurb. I might say two to uh, twice or thrice a day. And then after that, I will show you the technique to answer the listening question, how to do it. And lastly, uh, you will listen and you will start uh, state the true or false on the human statement uh, by your own. Okay? Sorry for the wrong spelling here. Okay? So this is actually a the cover book cover for the story. Okay, Oggy Pullman. This is actually a novel, like a movie. Okay, so and uh, this is the I can uh, this one. This is the blurb. What is blurb actually? Blurb is the sound of it. Um, let me play. Okay, maybe you can listen to it. August Pullman, also known as Oggy was born with a face that looks different from other oh, yeah. Can you listen to it? I think you cannot listen to it. Okay. August Pullman, also known as Oggy, was born with a face that looks different from other people. So, he finds it difficult to make friends. He has been homeschooled until now. Will he be able to fit in as a new pupil at Beecher Prep School? If you are a new kid in town, then you know how hard it is to fit in. Oggy, however, is an ordinary child who has a lot of courage and a... Okay, so let me stop it here. So that is a blurb, okay? But uh, let me show you what is Oggy Pullman, okay? It's like a uh, syndrome. Or we call it as a Tricher Collins syndrome. Eh, macam ada cacat sikit lah. Okay, effect dia, dia muka dia cacat. Okay, uh, bones dia, facial tissue dia banyak ada kat muka dia ada masalah sikit. So let's watch to gain more understanding of what is all the problems about. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I am joined by. A very, very special guest, my favorite guest in fact, my firstborn son, and he hasn't been in videos in a long time because I wanted to make sure I navigate this very respectfully to him as he grows up and cannot yet consent to content that I put him in, but today we are going to do a very simple Q&A about the end of his school year because it has been almost two years exactly since I posted our first Wonder Reaction video, and he has had two full years of school since then. He finished kindergarten after my concerns about letting him just start school and did fantastic and he just finished first grade and is now a second grader so I'm just gonna rapid fire him so he can get back to his summer routine and I'm not putting him out in any way so yep. let's get you still miss your friends even though you're not in first grade? Yeah. Who was your best friend? Yes. I already know the answer. Mom. Your mom. But tell them if you want to. Who was your best friend of first grade? Noah. Noah? Why was Noah your best friend? Uh, Just because? Well, um, he, well, um, that, that he's just really nice. And like, and like, and like, and like, I guess. You really like him? Yeah. You guys have things in common? Um, we have some things in common. Like what? We, um, we both like video games. You both like video games? Okay. So... So actually that... Um, Oggy Pullman is actually... Um, a Tricia Collins syndrome. Okay, which affects the development of bones and other facial tissues. Banyak dia nampak dekat muka dia lah. You can see over here. And the ears, you see, the eyes, the mouth. So this is a, a syndrome actually. So now let me show you uh, on our task today. So this is our task. 
Okay. So this one, you can see over here, this one you can uh, open your book, exercise book, called, uh, what is the name, apa nama dia? Uh, and did something, right? This one, yes, as body masra, digital, you open page number one, okay, so you can found this one, page number, oh, sorry, page number one. Okay, what you're going to do is that you are going to listen and then you are going to identify whether these five sentences are true or false. Okay, betul ke salah? True, betul. False, salah. Statement, ayat ni lah. Okay, so um, I will show you what is uh, the technique. If you come across to this kind of a task, this is a listening task. Okay, this is what you're speaking to because we are you cannot afford to do it. Okay, we are going to do only listening. So actually, you can scan this part to listen to the audio, but uh, it's okay. You don't need don't need to uh, no need to scan because I will provide the audio for you. What you have to do is you have to identify the key word first. Okay, so let's look at the first uh, statement over here. Okay, first you need to read all the five statements first. Okay, let's read first. All the Pullman's face looks different from other people's. Number two, he has gone to school since he was small. Okay, number three, he already has. A lot of friends. Number four, the name of August Pullman's new school is Beecher Prep. Number five, it is easy to fit in when you go to a new place. So after you read all of these uh, statements, you need to go one by one to identify the key words. Okay, kena identify, kena pasti keyword dia. Apa keyword? Kata kunci dalam setiap statement yang dibagi ok, so you need to underline ok, kena uh, garis lah uh, kata kunci dia ok, let's say number 1 August Pullman's face looks different August Pullman's face different from other people's true or false true or false can say it's true, right? So let's say it's true. So just write down here true. Okay. Next one. Number two. Now identify the identify the keyword. He has gone to school since he was small. He was gone to school since he was small. Okay, next, number three, he already has, okay, he has lots of friends. What is lots of? Banyak, ramai, this one, ramai. Different, ber, berbeza. Okay, since so, more, okay, number four. Okay, ni jangan buat lagi See, lah, tadi bagi tahu jawapan. Okay. Number four. The name of August Pullman, uh, Pullman's new school is Beecher Prep. Okay. Next. It is easy to fit in when you go to, when you okay, go to a new place. Okay. After you underline, you can start listen to the audio. Okay, let me play the audio for you first. August Pullman, also known as Augie, was born with a face that looks different from other people. So, he finds it difficult to make friends. He has been homeschooled until now. 
will he be able to fit in as a new pupil at Beecher Prep School? If you are a new kid in town, then you know how hard it is to fit in. Oggy, however, is an ordinary child who has a lot of courage and a big heart. Okay, so actually you have to listen more than once to identify the uh, whether the statements are correct or not. Okay? August Pullman, also known as Oggy, was born with a face that looks different from other people. So, he finds it difficult to make friends. He has been homeschooled until now. Will he be able to fit in as a new pupil at Beecher Prep School? If you are a new kid in town, then you know how hard it is to fit in. Oggy, however, is an ordinary child who has a lot of courage and a big heart. Okay, so you have to listen and then try to answer two, three, four, five. Macam itulah. Okay, uh, I think that's all for today. Uh, I will send the audio in the mp3 form uh, in, in your WhatsApp group and then you can play more than once, okay? But not more than thrice, okay? Just uh, try to listen after you manage to identify the keyword like this. So you will listen uh, very attentively. Okay, uh, that's all from me for today. Uh, Assalamualaikum.